Our scripture reading today is taken from John chapter 8 and verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. When I was in hospital, one of the girls' names that uh, cleaned the room, she was called Sawerse, S-O-A-I-R-S-E. When I asked her what it meant, she says it means freedom. I said to her that the Lord Jesus, that he said that he had come to set us free. If the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. She said that she never knew that. But this means that the Lord Jesus has set us free from our sins. The old devil has kept us in bondage to sin for years and we couldn't get set free. But the Lord Jesus came into this world to die on the cross to set us free from our sin. The hymn writer penned these words, The bonds of sin are broken, and I am free. O let the triumphs of his grace be spoken, who died for me. Our good works couldn't set us free. Our religious rites couldn't set us free. We needed to be cleansed in the precious blood and we needed the chains of sin broken. Maybe today as you listen to this little message you are in bondage to sin. Maybe to drink or drugs or lust or whatever else. But only the Lord Jesus can set you free. The hymn writer penned these words. He breaks the power of cancel sin, and he sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the vilest clean, and his blood avails for me. In Luke chapter 4, verse 18, the Lord Jesus, in the town of Nazareth, the Lord read these words from Isaiah 61, an Old Testament prophecy now fulfilled in him. And he read that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovering of sight to the blind, and set at liberty them that are bruised. Many a one is bruised by sin, and the Lord Jesus came to give them liberty, give them freedom. In Mark's Gospel, uh, chapter 5, we read about a man of Gadara. He lived in the caves. He cut himself. No one could do anything with him. No one could tame him. But when the Lord Jesus came, he came running to the Lord and he cried, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most God, the Most High God? Even the demons knew who he was, the Son of of the Most High God. This man's name of Gadara, it was called Legion, for he had many demons. And the Lord cast them out into swine, and there was about 2,000. This man was set free. The Lord Jesus told him to go home to your friends and tell them the great things the Lord has done for you and had compassion on you. You might not be like this man of Gadara, but at the same time you need set free from your sins. Why not come to the cross with your burden of sin and give it to him? He's waiting. He's waiting to save you. He will set you free. The hymn writer penned these uh, great words. I'm free, free from this world of sin. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. I've been born again. May the Lord bless his word to all our hearts. For his name's sake, amen.